All right, we're going to start out by taking a 20 gauge piece of wire. We're going to strip it. I'm going to 20 gauge on the wire mechanical strippers. I strip and I just get it started. I release it. And then so I don't uh, disturb the strands, I'm going to twist and pull. So I keep them all nice and wound together. Should look just like that. Now what I need to do is clean the wire. I'm going to take my alcohol, clean it, and so it doesn't oxidize. I'm going to add flux lightly. Add the flux. I'm going to place it into my wire holder. And I am all set and clean. Next thing I need to do is get the solder pre prepared. I take my solder. Don't use your iron to burn a chunk off. You need to cut a chunk off. You cut it, and now you need to clean it. You clean the solder with alcohol and a chem wipe. It's clean. The next thing I need to do, do is clean the iron. I clean the iron by taking a chem wipe that does not have alcohol on it. I clean it by wiping it into the trash can. I removed the solder, but I did not remove the oxidation. So to remove the oxidation, I now use the sponge. Please don't wipe the sponge full of solder onto the uh, a, a soldered iron with solder onto the sponge because you're going to destroy the sponge. So clean the sponge, just go on an edge, remove the oxidation, then come to your connection, dab the solder onto your tip to tin it, then I am going to form a solder bridge. I form a solder bridge by applying the iron to the wire and just cause a, form a little bridge of heat and then I take the soldering iron slowly up the wire but not all the way to, into the installation and then back down the wire. That tins the wire and removes any excess solder pulls it onto the hot iron and then I lightly tin the iron to protect it place it back in the holder the only thing I have left to do is to clean the connection. I clean the connection by taking my stiff bristle brush and cleaning any flux residue to prevent, to prevent corrosion. I cleaned it and now my wire is tinned. I do not have excess wire up the insulation and the strands are still showing. I should still be able to see the strands. I do have a little bit of excess solder on the end here, but it's not too bad. Did that turn out? Mm-hmm.